Irkut Corporation and Yakovlev Design Bureau present the Yak-130 Combat Trainer Jet, the ultimate key to the sky. The Yak-130 is the core element of an integrated training system ensuring effective training of fighter pilots at all stages, including selection and technical studies, primary, basic and advanced flight training, development of situational awareness and tactical out-of-cabin thinking, decision-making in time-critical situations, as well as combat employment of various weaponry. While piloting the Yak-130 in various flight modes, the cadet pilot practices takeoff and landing, masters standard and advanced maneuvering, acquires skills of flight in pair and unit formation, exercises nighttime piloting, instrument flight, and navigation in common and adverse weather conditions, as well as practices in-flight refueling if a refueling probe is installed on the aircraft. The Yak-130 is an effective platform to train pilots in dogfighting. This is achieved due to its excellent maneuverability, high thrust-to-weight ratio, superb speed, acceleration, and altitude characteristics. While flying the Yak-130 in a near real combat environment, the cadet pilots acquire experience in the live employment of various weaponry. In total, on the Yak-130, cadet pilots execute up to 80% of a fighter pilot's training program, which allows them to master the most advanced combat aircraft within the shortest time span. The Yak-130 has set a brilliant example to other jets in its class by demonstrating a performance similar to that of modern and prospective fighters. Стал эталоном для машин своего класса во всем мире. При этом стоимость одного летного Its flight hour costs four to six times less in comparison with the fourth-generation twin-seat combat training fighter. Четвертого поколения. The Yak-130 combat trainer is a monoplane of classic aerodynamic configuration with a swept mid-wing, wing tooth extensions, well-developed high lift devices and subsonic air intakes provide stable and controllable flight at angles of attack of up to 35 degrees. The two latest design bypass turbojet engines total five tons of thrust to provide the high thrust to weight ratio of the aircraft. The engines are renowned for high reliability, simplicity of maintenance, low specific fuel consumption, low noise and low smoke emissions. The fuselage is made of high strength aluminum magnesium lithium alloys 
featuring no composite power elements, which simplifies the airframe and meets requirements for easy and low-cost maintenance and repairability. The aircraft features a four-fold redundant fly-by-wire system. It ensures designated stability and controllability parameters, and provides automatic restriction of maximum angle of attack and G-load. The Yak-130 cockpit's design is identical to that of the prospective fighters. All necessary data is presented to pilots on three large-scale, multifunctional color displays in each cockpit and on the head-up display in the front cockpit. Aircraft and engine controls implement the hands-on throttle and stick concept. The aircraft is self-sufficient in operation and does not require any particular infrastructure. The independent engine startup, powering of onboard equipment without ground power supply, as well as cockpit air conditioning on the ground, are insured by the Yak-130 auxiliary power plant. The onboard oxygen generation station also contributes to the high degree of operational autonomy. To prevent damage to the engine by foreign objects, air intakes are screened with doors during takeoff and landing. The Yak-130 can operate even from unpaved airfields due to nose landing gear with a mud guard and lever-type main landing gear with low-pressure tires. In an emergency situation, the crew is safely ejected by the escape system. The canopy glass is fragmented by pyrotechnic cords. Ejection seats enable crew to leave the aircraft at the full range of speeds and within the entire altitude envelope of the aircraft. Besides crew training, the Yak-130 can be employed as a lightweight attack aircraft in low-intensity conflicts. It is able to carry up to three tons of various munitions at nine hard points, six under wing, two wingtip, and one under fuselage. Hard points can accommodate air to air and air to ground missiles, rockets, guns and bombs target designation and countermeasures pods, as well as auxiliary fuel tanks. While employed as a combat aircraft, the Yak-130 can perform air patrol missions and engagement of low-speed aerial targets. Destruction of point ground and maritime targets.
The ultimate proof of the Yak 130's excellent performance is its acquisition by the Russian Air Force. The Yak 130 is the key to your skies.